so here we are having Pat's car here we had a bit of a problem the other night where we had the left near side brake handbrake actuator seize on so today's job is we're going to be looking at the, the handbrake actuators which are in here and once we get the car jacked up we will show you us taking them off and see what the problem is so we have to get the A out and you manage to take off the left hand side brake actuator which looks like there's lots of water getting into here and what we're going to check is if this spline is worn or if the, the spline in the shaft uh, the actual caliper is worn or the motor and the drive is worn so we're going to take the caliper off take them into the bench and have a look at it That's all right, it's in sleep mode, but it's still recording. Okay. So we're trying not to get any water or cleaning material on the electrical part. Look at that, look, put the muck in there, see it? Aye. Well, we'll take the two bolts out and make sure we're not on the road type of thing. Well there it's there, look. If you look very, very closely to that, you'll see that's cracked. See the small crack in that? Sure and that might be enough to crack to let any water ingress inside there. So, maybe that's why the water's getting in there. So if that's cracked, to me that means that's been off and on again. Aye, or somebody's tightened it up too much. Because the torque on them is not very much. No. But that could be it. Hopefully we can see that in the camera. A small crack there. It's cracked right down. Yeah. Which means it's um, done. But we can still test if that spline is still going to fit in there. Right. Camera. So, if we bolted that to that, mm -hmm. maybe that's what's spinning there. What about this? You want to put this on first or just leave I'll it put the wee clip on. C clip. Just a wee pair of pliers maybe. I'll squeeze that one. Watch it doesn't ping everywhere now. I can't see for your hand. Like that's that. And... That's a waste of time right now. Can we get that? Show that yeah. on like that. There's your wee bolts over there. Good place beside that can. Let's put them in. So came to the conclusion that this is knackered. And what we've done is we've burst it open, taken bits off it to let us see inside that. And inside the actuator, that's just pressed on there, so we broke that. And here's how it's operating. We've got a belt and the motor's driving the belt and there's a gear. But what you can see is the amount of water that's in there. And we change the polarity and that will retract. 
but it looks like there's a lot of water in there, so there's water could have been in the motor. I don't spinning freely than now. I don't think it's got enough power to drive the under load. It's just sitting in there. Let me try it again. Three forty bits. Pull this up, that comes off. So, look at the amount of water in there. The amount of water in there. I'll take the belt off. The belt looks okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. The teeth on the belt and the teeth on the cogs look alright. That's a that's a wee spline that drives a number of wee gears. Right. And then if I do that, there's mm -hmm. all the gears. I'll get the water in there. So I wonder if there's probably lubrication in here. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's that. So I've got a new caliper ordered, which will come with the motor. And we're now going to put the caliper back on without the motor. A, as a temporary measure until we get new calipers delivered. So here we have our new calipers, painted black, a bit rough but it's fine with a new actuator on it. So today's job is going to be fitting these two new calipers to the Range Rover and we'll see how we get on. So we've got a new crush washer for the banjo. Let's see if that fits on there. A new crush washer at that end. Two new crush washers. What's the torque on that? I think it's 140. I remember correctly. The new carrier on. You just need to put these 15mm bolts in position. Oh, hold on a minute, I need to put the pads in first. Oh, for fuck's sake. Make sure they're in the right way now, Patrick. One and two. Okay. And um, there's no brake sensor on that side. Right, let's watch that cable. Okay. Take your bolt out there. Crush washer. Can't even spin it off. So I'll give that another wee nip up. Now, do we check that that's. Put that there. That bleed nipple's tight. So, so we can release the clamp now and we'll check for the leaks at the banjo coupling. Well, we'll need to do that when we, we bleed the brakes. Okay, so let's have a wee look around the other side. <coughs> oh, there's a little text on. Yes. So, caliper looks fine. The electrical connection is up here. And you can click that in there. That's it, that's it, and I think it's not moving. 
good slide of pins. So, what we'll do next is we'll bleed the brakes. Mm -hmm. and check for check for leaks. Then we'll test it right. before we move on to the next one because we know the other one's a, a known working one. Right. So now that we've got the cap on, we're going to bleed the brake, but only also to flush the brake system while we're at it. So we're going to take all the fluid from the reservoir and we're going to flush it as per usual procedure with our vacuum hose and see how we go from there. Okay, so we shall vacuum out. Tell me when you go. There you go. Yeah, that's coming now. Keep going, keep going. Okay, that should be on. So we've got it all on. I'm just about to test it, so Pat's going to put the handbrake on. Put it off. There you go, and on again. Yeah, that's working fine. So, we had a bit of a problem. Uh, it seemed to be out of sync, so we took the caliper off, wound the piston right back, made sure it was on, put it back on again, it worked fine. So, one down, one to go. So, that's us done the near side rear. I'll move on to the uh, offside rear where this caliper is functioning properly <coughs> and it should be working fine so we're now going to do the same with this one we're going to try and put it in the service mode so as we can pull the caliper back into position the other new caliper um, seemed to be out of sync when we put it on it wouldn't work properly but now after we pulled the caliper, I pulled the piston back, it seems to be working fine. So, let's get the handbrake tested and we'll see if this one's in sync. Ignition on. Okay, put the handbrake on. Yep, that worked fine. So that's us finished with this L405 at Ramey's Garage. We have replaced the brake fluid, We've replaced two rear calipers and actuators. We did have a problem with this caliper here where the apprentice part broke the bleed nipple so we had to take the caliper off and take it into the wee workshop we had to end up welding a nut onto it to remove the broken bleed nipple however all is good now and that's us ready to rock and roll <coughs> anything else you want to add to that part? my back's broke <laughs> just to let you see a wee bit of dirt a <laughs> wee bit of dirt on your shoulder there good grief you can roll about in the muck so that's it for this, see you all later. <laughs>